Get it on! Something like this. You know what it is, man. So what's going on? Well, we just got done with the former generals too. Um, with Superstar J. Yeah, yeah. We put that part two. In. Part two, man. And um, it, it, it took about a year's time, but we got it done. And the shit was crazy, man. She was real crazy. A lot of big artists on the track. So okay, could you, know you tell I mean? them some of the artists that's on there? Definitely, definitely. Uh, we got Joel Ortiz. Shout out to we Joel got, Ortiz. Um, yeah, Bizarre from D12. Yeah, wow. Shout got, out to uh, Bizarre. Yeah, Jin, Kari Kill, uh, Bobby Connors. Hold on, it's Bizarre, the fat one? Yeah, yeah that's the That's pink. the one like <laughs> Stunner, right? Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay. Yeah, I mean, Tell us some of the um, artists that you work with. One in 2007, um, which was the For My Generals with Superstar J, and that, that was with um, Uncle Murder. We worked with uh, Thurston Howell III, um, No Good People. Yeah, I know. Um, copyright, Teflon from MOP. Yeah. Wow. Royal Flush, Shaw Stimuli, Nucci Rayo. It's just a collective of graph. Like, shout out to Black Hand. A lot of major artists and stuff like that. And um, then I went to well, went to prison for, for two years. And that kind of put a halt on my whole career. So, okay. you know, that was... Um, it was hard, man. It, it was hard with, with all that because we, we definitely had some kind of buzz with the four my generals. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it, it kind of put a halt on it. But now we back at it, man. It's 2010. We putting the work in, and that's, that's about up. it. You know what I mean? Let me ask you something. You did what's two up? years in prison. What what was the transition and just getting back and banging the beats? <coughs> what, like, how did you get back and just like say, I gotta get these beats together? Um, I mean, it was it was like this prison. When you actually go to prison, when um, and you're away from your family, it takes a lot out of you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, being in jail wasn't hard because I'm a street kid. But um, just being away from your family and just being away from what you love doing, music, it's hard, man. It's hard. But um, as soon as I got back, I got back in the swing of it, got new equipment, got mm -hmm. up to date with all the software. The mm -hmm. business was different. Yeah. The trends were different. Yeah. In two years? That's what I was going to say. Yo, in two, in, in in two we years, live. man. <laughs> but um, we got it together and we're just moving. What do, you, what do you feel like? You said the trends are different because we had a couple of producers on the couch and... You know, a lot of producers, you know, I believe in, like, you know, people go with the trends. Now you got, you know, the com like, everybody's just jumping on the computer and doing beats. Yeah. How do right. you feel about that? Like, um, At first, when I got back, I was still I was still rocking with the MP. Yeah. Uh, the old school way, you know what I mean? Um, hardware. But I, I kind of kind of went with everybody else, man. I kind of went with um, with the software. I got the, the new machine. It's actually called Machine by um, Elective Arts or some shit like that. And... It's 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 more. You can travel and make music. It's it's more yeah. you know uh, user friendly. Yeah. Okay. So I kind of went with the trends as well, and it works. It didn't take anything away from you, right? What's up? It didn't take anything away from your brass knuckle style, right? Brass knuckle, nah, <laughs> not really. I mean, the sounds now are more mixed too. So when you get yeah. when you get a kid, it's like it, the, the the kicks are, are hitting, snares are hitting, sounds sound better. The tr the the synths sound better. So you recommend oh, it? Without a doubt. Do you say, okay, I want to make something for this artist, and then you work that way and try to make it sound like you, what you think would sound good for that artist, or do you just make the beats and then you just say, mm, this is what I question. have? That's always been the problem, because um, I would have an idea before working with the artist. You know, we try to reach out to an artist, and yeah. uh, I would think a, per, uh, a, a particular sound would work for them, mm -hmm. and you get them to sit down, you play them 10 joints that you made for them, and they're like, nah, I ain't feeling any of those. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it, it's, it's, it's funny, but um, what I like to do now is, because I also took up music theory in prison. Yeah. So I actually taught really? myself how to read and write music. So uh, wow. um, I took the time out to actually, you know, sit down with the artist and get to know the artist a little bit musically, you know, and collectively come up with something. Instead of just, yo, here's some beats and an email, let's get it cracking. Mm -hmm. you know yeah. I mean? So um, I think that works best. Yeah. Who's your top five in producers right now? Um, now we're talking about legends or just right now? What's hot right I now? I mean, right now, dude, what, what you think? No, your <laughs> legends, whatever, top five. All right, well, no, now, number, one, number one is always Timbaland. To me, T okay, Timbaland, why? Dr. Dre. Well, Timbaland. I mean, if you listen to Timbaland's R&B joints in the '90s, if Aaliyah. you play them right let's, now, let's talk yeah. about Aaliyah. I mean, you can ask any girl <laughs> singer, guy singer. I mean, they could still rock to that now. Mm -hmm. He was so ahead of his time. I mean, he had yeah. decades ahead of his time. Okay. I feel. Um, how about Dark Child, a dude that doesn't get the respect that he's due? That's what's Dark Child's a great producer. <laughs> um, uh, Dr. Dre, Polo to Don. Polo to Don's a beast. Yeah. You know, Polo yeah. okay. Don got a real good sound, steady sound. Um, the Runners, Cool and Dre. 
It's a lot of good, a lot of good music out there right now, man. So if you guys still give me a four or five, it's cool. Four or five, Cool and Dre, uh, Swiss Beats, without a doubt, Swiss Beats, and um, the Tune Heads, because they're the ones who taught me how to make music. Oh, really? that's what's up. What up? So shout that's out to the Tune Heads. That's what's up. Right. What up? So, um, you got any shout outs, man? Ooh, tell can I get some advice for the up and coming producers before you get shout outs? Yeah. Of course. <laughs> so, tell them what they need to be doing. Definitely, definitely explore into other kind of music. Listen to everything. Don't be closed minded with music. I, I was saying years ago to mix rock with trans, trans with mm. hip hop, house. There's this new sound out called Dubstep. Definitely wow. just explore everything and just try to put it together, man. That's Don't, what's up. Yeah, without a doubt. What, what is Dubstep that? I'm gonna Dubstep is like a it's like a trans house music that's it's a little more tough, a little more bass. Is it engine. Jersey? Is that that Jersey? I'm not sure wave. where where the <laughs> origin is. Shit, this. but now I'm telling you, Jersey, it's tough, man. Wave. It's it's real bass heavy. You know, I'm kind of from the old school days. We buy the MP, you buy your Triton, you buy all the other good stuff to make the beats. How much does it cost now to get started with all this software stuff now to mm. get like situated in the studio? Because you know, back in the day, you had to stash bread. To get that the studio go. equipment, right. Right. but you know, with all the new software, I don't know how, how how does that work now. Basically, you can get Fruity Loops for free. You can crack it or a hundred dollars, and you can get started right from that, from Fruity Loops itself. You could you can start making beats, and as long as you got some headphones and a computer, you can get going. A hundred dollars wow. plus. Wow. Well, it starts here. It's crazy. All right, you got Word it up. right here. One hundred percent. You got any shout outs, man? And tell them you know what to get that uh, mixtape bad and all that. Definitely, you could definitely get um for my generals 2.0. Um, hosted by Superstar J on uh, datpiff.com. You That's can also get it at Facebook slash Mighty Fuzz Young or for the ladies, Facebook slash Greg Young, my government. Aye. And um, mm-hmm. yeah, that's what you get for the ladies. ladies. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Definitely, we, we can get personal. Like that. You know what I mean? <laughs> that's what it is. I did. That's what it is, man. Give it up for, for Mighty, Mighty Fuzz, Fuzz Young. Y'all. Give it up. Give it up. Give it up. Give it up.